condition of this is embarrassing. And I've been the only owner of this. I bought it new in box, so... All this crap, this is just me. I have this Sony SLV N750 that's been sort of my daily driver for capturing old videos and uploading them to YouTube and stuff like that. And I have run a lot of tapes through this recently. So this is just a quick video on opening it up, cleaning the heads, cleaning all the transport, the pinch roller, everything like that, just giving it a tune-up. The symptoms I have, I've noticed that it's getting harder and harder for the hi-fi to stay uh, synced up or locked in. So you can either get the video to stop jittering or you can get the hi-fi audio to be reasonably clean. Screws on the back and then one little tab and we're in. And I can already tell just by looking at it that it's pretty dirty. See, you can see those streaks on the drum and all that gunk. There's lots of that. There's lots of flakes off of probably some tapes that weren't in the best shape. I've been playing all sorts of crap that I've been finding. Some of it's not been in great shape. I've also been playing on a beta VCR and I've had to clean the head in the beta VCR about four or five times going through half as many tapes. So this one's definitely past due, but look at that. Okay, so this is going to be real similar to a lot of other videos that have done this. Uh, keep in mind, I'm just an amateur and I'm just following what's been recommended to me. So there are much better videos out there. All I'm doing is getting a bit of isopropyl alcohol, soaking a piece of paper, sort of getting it nice and soaked in there. And I'm just going to, I used way too much. Oh, boy. this VCR is gonna get drunk. And you just sorta push it up, lightly push it against there, give it a spin. You know, don't push in too hard, just let the heads go by. And that's not really much is coming off. Usually if it's dirty, you'll see little black streaks coming off of here. No, that's pretty good. Considering all the dirt I'm seeing on here, it might just be on the drum itself. And if that's the case, what we can do is I'm just going to pour a little bit of alcohol into the lid and I've got some Q-tips. So you can use Q-tips on everything else in here. Just don't use them on the little heads. And that's because they're essentially like a small transformer. And the transformer has, you know, coils of wire and then it'll have some sort of varnish or protective coating on it. But those wires are kind of sharp. So when you're using a Q-tip on there, you can catch the wires and damage them, or you can start pulling strands off of the Q-tip and getting them jammed in there. And I remember when I was young and I didn't know this, I ended up uh, using Q-tips on, on heads and it worked, it worked, I got lucky. But years later when I knew better, I you know looked in with a magnifying glass and you could just see all these little strands caught in there. And when I was able to very carefully pull them all out, the picture quality improved vastly. So yeah, you definitely want to uh, avoid using a Q-tip around any of those, those heads. Just get in there and clean this guy. Well, that's pretty dirty. Focus here. Yeah, a little bit of dirt on there. So we'll just go through, do all of them.
you can hear this on the camera. Is that bzz, 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 buzzing from the power supply? That's the power supply reacting to that flashing. Jesus, I guess this thing's 15 years old. Probably not built with the best components, but that's still surprising. Okay. Let's see how it plays now. And what of Steffi Graf and Gabriella Sabatini? A year ago, they baffled even themselves with the brilliance of their final round competition. The day they renew what has become women's tennis's most lovely war. The artistry of Sabatini, the power of Graf. Beautiful Irish fisherman's knit sweaters. It starts out a beautiful off-white. You wear it twice. It winds up in. Oh, this is the same problem I was having before. If I adjust the tracking to get the audio okay, the picture flickers. Let me put the display on. And if I adjust the tracking so the display doesn't flicker, the audio goes out. Suggests with those 59 degrees, put on your woolies and wait for the possible rain under the curious euphemism, partly sunny skies. In short, championship weather at Wimbledon as we get to women's semifinal day. And hello again, everybody. I'm Jim. Huh. Well, I don't know. Now I'm starting to think between the sound of this power supply and whatnot, this might be an electrical problem. It definitely needed a head cleaning, but I, there might be more to this thing. And I don't know if I'm willing to put any money into this. Do you guys think if this is worth investing any money and recapping the power supply? I've done some research. I can't really find any easy to find service manuals. And I doubt this was built with a lot of serviceability in mind. So there's not no good points to probe to like... Uh, for the voltages and whatnot. I mean, I'm sure some people like who will know a lot more than me would be able to sort of reverse engineer this power supply and figure that out, but I'm not at that level. But I might just price out how much it is to replace these, just knowing these, who makes these caps? Like Sam Young. That one's a Sam Young. Never heard of that. Anyway, none of these capacitors seem to be any sort of brand I've heard of. And knowing the way these sort of rebadged Samsungs were built at the end of their life, they probably put the cheapest components they could inside. So, I don't know. Let me know if I should repair this. I'm kind of on the fence.